السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه ومن والاه Very brief, uh, inshallah ta'ala, tazkirah and reminder. As you all know, and many of you, alhamdulillah, do practice that at different levels. May Allah continue to give you and all of us strength to worship Him as He wills, Azza wa Jal. You practice dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of the adhkar that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us specifically after the morning salah, after fajr salah, and after Maghrib Salah, is he used to and he taught that once we say Assalamu Alaikum after Subh, we should not move from our place. That's highly recommended. We should not turn. That's why you see me as I finish Salat Subh. I don't turn immediately. To stay in that same position and to say ten times La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. له الملك وله الحمد بيده الخير يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير. He used to do that and say that to us صلى الله عليه وسلم and even allowed to be heard ten times. And after that you may change position and turn and say seven times اللهم إني أسأل اللهم أجرني من النار اللهم أجرني من النار اللهم أجرني من النار seven times as he taught in authentic hadith صلى الله عليه وسلم and practiced and that means Ya Allah please protect me from النار from the fire of hell inshallah and then after that the other adhkar that also he taught that many of you do know of alhamdulillah or some of that we do recite after each salah, including tasbih and tilawat uh, ayat al-kursi and qul huwa Allah ahad. For example, it's highly recommended to recite after every salah also ayat al-kursi. And um, after salat al-subh, salat al-maghrib, three times qul huwa Allah ahad. And three times qul a'udhu bi rabbi al-falaq. Three times qul a'udhu bi rabbi al-nas. But there is another text that teaches that, and I think we said it before, about قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Do you remember? No? Ten times after every salah. Ten times قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Remember it came with two other things that whoever does those, one of those three things, even regularly, one of which is the recitation of Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad after every salah, what happens to that person? Aina. That is, inshallah ta'ala, we be entered Jannah. And we'll have a seat in Jannah, inshallah ta'ala, Ya Rab. In accordance to that text, those who regularly, always, don't forget this. In addition to the adhkar, ten times Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad after every salah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us do that and help through that our hearts change and develop the akhlaq that he loves subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.